Hi and welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here in Vanilla FM and today we're going to play the playoff episode. So we've been playing this uh, save for three seasons now and we finally made it to the playoffs of the uh, Van Ryman National League North. Um, and because it's, it's, it's an episode uh, just of playoffs I'm going to just show you the matches themselves and skip through the middle uh, of like in between matches. It could be up to three matches that's why I'm doing it this way so I can squeeze it all into an episode. Yeah, so we, just one thing to note here, it, I've had to make a few sacrifices because some of our top players uh, are a little bit tired, so I kind of just rested them just in case you get through to the second round. I think we can get through this one without them, but I suppose we will find out. Oh, something just happened to my camera, one second. Technical difficulties, but I'll keep progressing in the match and I'll try to fix it as we go along. So these are the players playing for Darlington today. Not any, no regens for, for them. So all original players. And for us, we have a few, a few of the other Excuse me, is that a faff with the camera here? I'm not sure why it's doing that. Hmm. That is so strange. Anyway, we got a goal opportunity here and we scored. Oh, there we go. You kind of got a little bit of. There we go. I might have to focus it again. Never mind. Keep watching the replay while I focus the camera. There we go. Okay, so that, this was Osopo Tutte to Dan. And Dan scored. Very good, very good. I've missed all of that as I was faffing with the camera. I'm not sure what happened there. Okay, so we're scoring here. Darlington has an opportunity here. It goes over the top. And I'm hoping that I'll be able to show you the off-season as well in a test Twitch stream. I'm not sure if it will work at all, but I will try. Okay, got another highlight here. Look at the stadium, it's full. Wow. That's great. It is raining a little bit. Same combination as before, pretty much, but this time, Osopo. Oh, sorry, not Sopo, Song. Um, goes with a header. Oh, Song hasn't been doing too well for us. He's got 16 goals scored for us this season, but in recent weeks, he's not been doing too well. Almost looked like a handball, that one. Um, <clears throat> got a corner here for them. For the last few minutes of the first half. And it looks like it will be just like that. 1-0 so far. Go straight into the second half. Might need to do some subs soon. So, this guy is gonna come off. He's not doing too well, so we'll try Oakley there. And Hughes. Mr. Pringle's coming up. And maybe Dal, if Dal's on the bench. Yeah, he is. Okay. All the subs finished. Another corner conceded. We're conceding a lot of corners in this match. 
nothing came of that one apparently. Pretty good chance for them. A little bit nervous about this. Still got ten minutes left. Oh, good clearance. time well done so we got through to the second round of the playoffs let's just see who we're going to be playing against um boston okay boston are harder i'll come back for that match just in a little bit okay so i'm gonna predict that this one's gonna be a harder match but yeah i was able to put back all of our main players for this one they're all rested now so we're gonna crack on with it uh I haven't changed anything tactically for it. Now, one thing that I forgot to mention um, for the first match, uh, just kind of a summary of the season, really. We came out with 23 draws. I think something like 17 wins, 23 draws, and however many losses adds up to, you know, 46. Yeah, so, so something like that. Uh, yeah, so we are the champions of draws. We broke the record you know, a long time ago, actually, but we kept adding to it. Um, yeah, 23 draws. We just barely made it to the playoffs by one point. We have more draws than the team that was above us had wins. That's how many draws we had. I think that Spennymore, who came sixth, they had 22 wins and we had 23 draws. Our song is gonna go for a goal. Well done. Nice. Oh, we got a full house as well. That'll be good for the gates receipt. So, tab in third, just launching the ball forward to the poacher. Good goal. Or song redeem him, redeeming himself a little bit. And another thing that's helping a lot is the cohesion of the team. It's now reached very good. I don't think it's too far off to next level exceptional or superb I can't remember so that really helps the fact they all have relationships and um, let's just watch here Hughes magnificent free kick yeah so um, yeah so the fact that they have a very good cohesion and all these relationships are formed helps with the vision uh, things like passing and making decisions and stuff being a little bit creative with their options and a little bit of an almost like an automatic way of playing as well they can see the chances opening up uh, actually I don't need to do that it's only half time okay no changes we're winning 2-0 which is not what I expected at all I was expected it this one to be a close match we still have two two subs to make uh, so we can refresh the team a little bit So they've closed the gap a little bit, but we're still winning. 60 minutes gone, 30 minutes to play. In about five minutes, I will make our final subs. Well, I haven't, haven't made any, any subs yet, but I will make some subs now. Uh, I think those two that aren't playing too well, and also maybe put Oakley here. Give some respite to Woods. <laughs> it's 
some fresh bodies on the pitch. Hopefully we'll help hold off Boston. And two minutes left. One minute left. Final highlight. These always, always worry me. But it's for us. Nice long range shot from Kaja. Missed though. And it's full time. Okay, so we're through to the final. Uh, let's just see who that is against. Kidderminster. Now they are tough. Kidderminster are tough as well. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. I will cut back to it now. And we're back for the final match. This is a finale now. If we win this game, we get promoted. So it's a big deal. Right. Let's go. Um. So a few things I've tried to ask the board in the meantime, because it was a week's gone by now in the game. Um, obviously tried to ask them for professional status, blah, 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 all of the things that we want. Um, they didn't give us anything. I think they raised our revenue percentage for transfers, but that was the only thing they allowed me to do. We are in the process of buying the stadium, as I mentioned before. Um, so that's going to come up in the summer. Um, in other news, our youth team, so our under 18s, has come third of their league. Massive improvement on last year. The cohort is really good, actually, quite a strong squad. It's described as a strong squad as well. Ooh, nice, I wasn't expecting that. Callum Woods, first ever goal for us. Sapo Sung with the assist there. Bear in mind that Colin Woods is one of our centre back, centre backs. Yeah, centre back. Oh no, he's a right back. My bad. Well done, well done for getting on the scoreboard this season. Um, no changes required, I don't think. Let's just see if we can improve the goal difference. Obviously, the advantage of having a whole week off is that all of our main players were well, well rested, so they're all still able to play for the final. Whoa, that's massive. Thomas Hughes with a free kick from the left side of pitch. Just squeezed it in between the keeper and the post. That's huge. Okay, I'm feeling good about this. This is great. We actually... We we are getting promoted. Okay, I should probably do some subs now. Ah, calm down, calm down. Right. Kaja is coming in. And Dan and Pringle. Refresh the bodies on the pitch. Kaja's got some great crossing as well, so hopefully we can get something from his right foot here. It's such a shame that the ball didn't get through to him. He's got a great right foot for crossing. I think we just, are we panicking now? Why are they panicking? Why are they losing the ball? Come on, focus. Okay, it's okay, it's okay, we've got 15 minutes to play. Kitha Minster knows that, so they're rushing to get playing again. And the thing is, Dan is quite good with his heading as well, so they're both on the pitch, Kaja and Dan. But I don't think there's going to be another goal up. And we are promoted, just like that. Three straight playoffs as well. Wow. Okay, so first time we try the playoffs, the first season, full faith. And we're up. Two achievements. Thank you, Steam. Um, 
yeah, so the first time we had the chance to go to the playoffs, we are promoted. The budget for next year, 13k and seven 13k wages per week and 70k for transfers. Let's just have a quick look to see how much of that is still left. So we've got four more K. Um, fantastic stuff. Uh, I'm going to say we need more support for our referees. It's a hard job, and it really is. It's really difficult to get it right all the time. Let's see if we have some sort of um, pre uh, review of the season. Here we go. Oh, we got a superb dressing room atmosphere. We finally did it. We're struggling to get that atmosphere up. Right. Uh, let's have a look. Lots of great players on loan for us. David Wood came in as a backup goalkeeper. Ended up being a main goalkeeper. That's amazing. Um, ba -ba -ba. main team, so David Wood, Calm Woods, Candle and Batten. Batten is longer with us. Joe Brown, Gareth, uh, so not Gareth, George. Tati, I don't agree with this one. I really don't agree with this one. It should be... Oh, what's his name? I can't remember his name now. Kaja Hughes. Yeah, okay. Alright, that's fine. Thomas with the most assists in the season, breaking the record. Angel Coulter, who's now in our under-23 squad, um, was the youngest goal scorer for us. Fan player of the season, Tom Hughes, our attacking midfielder. Youngest player of the season, obviously the goalkeeper. We have to mention him. Signing of the season, Joel Tabintha. Again, a player that was signed to be a backup for the left side, for Dan's position. And he ended up doing really well for us. Scored quite a few goals as well. Uh, Esapo also for 17 goals, but he declined quite a lot in the second half of the season. So I'm not sure what's going to come of him next season. Most assists, again, 16 for Tom Hughes. Uh, most player of the match, 8. Again, Tom Hughes and Charlie Oliver with the most passes completed. Okay. We've made history by getting promoted... Possibly. Maybe. I don't know. We, we did get the most draws ever in the season. So, yeah. So there we go. Um, Right. I better get off with the, you know, off-season now. And get everything sorted. Let's see if any of the gems come up in these news articles. Players inducted in our forever best squad. Very nice. Oh yeah, expectations. This is going to be a good one. Let's negotiate. So they're saying we want to get players under 23. I always I delete them all because I try to get rid of them as much as possible. So they want us to get under any under 23 players for our first team. Defend solidly, play possession, put the football in high tempo. And the expectation is that we fight bravely against relegation. They no longer want us to get under 23 players, but we will. Okay, that's as much as I can get away with, I suppose. Right. Uh, Chris, because he's, he hasn't played very much, he got relegated from team leader to highly influential player. Uh, da -da -da. Da -uh. Adam George, player of the season. Ooh, I might get... Uh, I'm going to vote for the worst so they don't get my vote. So the best guy that doesn't get my vote. Uh, McKean. McCann. Mikan. Mishan. I don't know how to say that. Confirm. Okay. Now. 
this is the bit that I always tremble because sometimes they react horribly to what you say to them. So we are just seeking to fight bravely against relegation. That's the expectation of the board and usually the board agrees with the players. So, uh, it's not been wholly satisfying. No, it's been whole. It's been fine. Uh, we all know it's going to be tough for us next season. We'll probably come back down. I'm going to bring in some new faces to keep us up. I think this is the one that we need to go with. Yeah, I think they agree. They know. They know it's going to be tough. I'm not going to make any promises now. And that's it. Thank you so much for sticking around and watching it until the end. It's been amazing that I didn't think we'd get through. Um... Oh, hang on. What's this? Shelved. Plans of purchase the station has been crapped. Scrapped, not crapped. Sorry. Um, the fans don't exist. What? We're not buying a stadium after all. So we've got some new sponsors. What? We've got plenty of money. What's this all about? Oh, come on, guys. Come on. Or, or buy a st or build a stadium. Who knows? Although building a stadium is probably more expensive. Anyway, I'll keep you updated with that one. I was looking forward to that. But yeah, thanks so much for sticking around until the end. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And you can check out the Patreon as well. And all of the links in the description too. Take care. Bye-bye.